hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we will look at five symptoms of differential trouble the differential will allow the left and right wheel to be driven at different speed whenever there is a speed variation required for example when vehicle is making a turn the inner wheel and the outer wheel has to cover different distances the inner wheel has to travel shorter distance than the outer wheel Therefore, it is necessary to drive the inner wheel at lower speed than the outer wheel. This is accommodated and done by the differential. Besides allowing the left and right wheel to be driven at different speeds, the differential also serves as a final gear reduction, reducing speed and multiplying torque. It also splits the propeller power output to left and right wheels. It also changes the power flow from the propeller shaft by 90 degree so this is some of the functions of the differential now whenever there is a differential trouble that will be indicated by audible and visual symptoms let's look at five of the main and most common differential trouble symptoms number one gear grinding when you have a differential that is in trouble it usually makes noise, a gear grinding noise. Hearing an increase in the level of humming noise or gear grinding is a way to know almost for sure that you have a worn out differential. Usually the humming gets louder under acceleration. The second symptom of differential trouble is whining noise. Most common symptom that appear due to lack of lubrication over internal component of the differential is the whining noise. This lack of lubrication can be caused by leak of fluid from the differential, for example. That will inevitably lead to whining noise when that happens. The third symptom of a bad differential is tire damage. As we have discussed earlier, the differential will allow the left and right wheel to be driven at different speed, for example, when vehicle is turning. But when that mechanism is interrupted, the left and right wheel are forced to be driven at same speed. That will cause premature wear of the tire. This is basically because the tire, instead of rolling when turning, starts to skid when vehicle is cornering. As you make a turn, if the wheels are forced to travel at same speed, that will lead to premature wear of the inner tire, or even damage because the speed will be significantly higher than what the inner treads were designed to sustain. So a tire wear can also be an indication of a bad differential. The fourth indication of a bad differential is vibration. If there is excess clearance, if there is exaggerated damage, if there is very large wear and tear on the differential components, that will lead to vibration. Significant wear and tear done to the universal joints of your differential lead to vibration in the drive shaft. This vibration can be felt even better when you accelerate your vehicle and it can lead to even stronger vibrations if the differential fluid is leaking these are early warning signs that the differential needs checking as soon as possible so if you are having some vibration related problems coming from the drive tray take time to check the differential to see if that vibration is caused by a differential component failure or a differential trouble that will lead to costly repair and the final symptom that we are going to cover in this video is difficulty in handling. As we have said earlier, differential will help facilitate and handle your vehicle when negotiating a turn. Once the differential is troubled, the wheels will not be able to readjust their speed as required, making vehicle handling when vehicle is making a turn very difficult and quite unpredictable it can even lead to accident so 
if you have difficulty on controlling your vehicle when the vehicle is making a turn, that probably is an indication of a troubled differential. As we have said earlier, when vehicle is making a turn, the inner wheel and the outer wheel has to be driven at different speed and they have to keep on rolling, not skidding. But if the differential does not allow the speed variation between the left and right wheel, the inner and the outer wheel, the wheels, they start to skid. And when tires start to skid, vehicle handling will be unpredictable. The other symptom of a differential going bad is differential overheating. If you notice there is a differential overheating in your vehicle, that can also be an indication of a trouble. It can be caused by wrong oil, wrong type of oil. It can be caused by lack of lubrication. It can be caused by excessive bearing preload. It can be caused by excessive backlash between the pinion and rain gear. It can be caused by your vehicle being overloaded. Overheating is basically an indication of low differential fluid or it can also be an indication of excessive load on the differential. So this is another symptom that will show your differential is going bad. The number one cause of bad differential is lack of lubrication. Make sure that your vehicle is always checked for sufficient amount of oil in the differential and make sure to replace that fluid as recommended by the manufacturer. So these are some of the symptoms that will indicate that you have a bad differential. Do not ignore sign of trouble. When there is a noise, when there is differential oil leakage, always take action to fix it. Otherwise that will lead to costly repair on your differential. Well, if you are interested to know more about what are the main causes of differential trouble, please find another video in this channel. I will leave the link in the description. In that video, you will find five causes of differential trouble. Five reasons that will lead to your differential to fail. That is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.